Okay, this is spreadsheet standard two. We're going to talk about the formula bar, the name box, and tab options. A lot of times when we look at our sheet, what we see visually is maybe not what's really going on in the cell. As I click on each of these, I have the formula bar where I can see what's actually shown here. So it's just a number one, it's just a number three. It's displaying the results maybe of a calculation. If I look at this cell right here, D2, you can see that it's displaying uh, the number four, but in the formula bar, it's actually just a simple formula of, of one plus three. Uh, same thing here with C2. This is actually a function. So I've got the sum function here, adding up two different cells. So what you see displayed is maybe not what's really going on. So this is where it comes in handy to use our, our formula bar. To the left of our formula bar, we have a little box called the name box. Now this box will tell you where you're at. So we're at currently B2, C3, D4. And, and those are okay. I can also grab multiple and it will tell me where I'm at. I've got four rows and three columns, but it starts at B2. But what if we wanted to name them something different, something that we could maybe understand that we'll have to remember a cell name. That's where we can add a name to something. So I have highlighted all of the first quarter cells of Bob Carroll, Ted, and Alice, January, February, and March. I can actually just come up in this name box now, and I can call it something like total. When I hit enter, now it's going to refer to this area as total. And I can use that later in a formula, which, which we'll do. We'll keep this. But for now, just know that you can name it as an area that's going to make sense to you as you're thinking about it later working in your spreadsheet. We can also go to the uh, formulas tab, and here we have the name section, and I can create a name section, or yeah, create names from a selection. So I'm going to select this entire table, and when I create the names from a selection, Excel asks me, okay, do you want to also include your names from the top row, the left column? It tries to intelligently figure out what I've got here. So yes, I want to do this, and when I'm done, I can now go into my name manager and in addition to having this section called total, I have a, a named section called Ted, Alice, Carol, Bob. I also have one for January, February, and March. So I can get the uh, results of all of these in a formula just by typing the name March. So let's do that real quick here. I've created a second sheet here down at the bottom. I did that by clicking the plus sign here again. I'm going to go to sheet two. Now I want to put the value for March in here. So I can, instead of going back and having to add that all up and figure out what the number is and create a formula, I can just simply come up here to my formula bar and I am going to control V to paste down the value. So this is equal to the sum of March. That was our name section. And when I put that in there, it tells me that that value was 13. I can go back and check that just to show you here, the sum of March. I just highlight all these cells, and if you look at the bottom right-hand corner, you see down here it tells us our average, our count, and our sum is 13. So we know that formula is working correctly, and S is the name right there. So the last thing I need to show you in this particular section is working with the tabs down here at the bottom. Now, we can create extra tabs. We just keep clicking the plus here. Uh, if you have a multiple-paged uh, workbook, you may want to color code these, so I'm just going to right click and I can change the color of this. So let's make this one orange, click on sheet three, make my tab color green. So you see you have some options here and when you click off of them, they're the different colors. And sheet one and sheet three may not be the best names for them, so let's just right click again and let's rename it. I'll call this quarter one since that's what our, our results were. So you can see, you can simply rename them. If I need to manage them, I just drag it and move it someplace else. Let's put sheet two right here because that's the beginning of quarter two. We're going to change the tab color again. Okay, so now you can see I've got different options here. I will rename this while we're at it. Another option you have while you're in here is you can actually hide something. So let's say you have uh, something you want to keep from prying eyes it's your plans for global domination and you don't want people to see this so you're going to hide this particular tab and now you don't see that it's there you can just right click and you can unhide 
but someone would have to know to do that. So that's just a couple of things you can do with the tabs. And we are done with standard two.